What is going on? This is as always the great one. And uh Oh fuck it. Hey! You may feel the cringe, you may just feel the cringe, and if this is the first time you're on this channel, get used to this feeling, because this happens a lot. People in the comments let know the new people that the cringe is what keeps this channel going. Either way, today I'm doing a video about myself. What an egoistical son of a bitch. What are you f***ing pussy? No, I just think, you know, just doing something that I want to do, maybe people will find it interesting. What are you Pussy. Either way, if you guys don't give a crap, if you think this is a bad idea for a video, let me know in the comments below. But if you think it's good, right? Life sucks, the great one doesn't. What are you f***ing pussy? This is going to be a video about my favorite WWE wrestlers in 2017. So those who are not active in the WWE roster right now, like the Batistas and all that kind of stuff, are not going to be in this video. If you want me to do of all time, let me know in the comments below. So today, my beautiful sexy beasts, you are watching my favorite WWE wrestlers of 2017. The first on this beautiful list of the great one comes Dolph Ziggler. Ever since 2012 when he got this push as a show-off, I was a huge fan of those. I still want him to get that push. It seems like they tried to push this guy, but at the same time he's like... No, stay right here. Stay, stay right here. You, you're the best seller in the WWE, so make other guys look good. AKA, make Roman Reigns look really, really strong. How can you hate the Zigman, man? He is so awesome. He has charisma, looks, wrestling skills, selling. He is what I want in a wrestler. So he is one of my favorites in 2017. And one thing about this list is that you will really disagree with it. You will really think this is a bad list because you won't see a lot of your favorite wrestlers. And that is WWE's fault. I don't think that a lot of these wrestlers are going to be from this new generation. Another one of my favorite wrestlers in 2017 is The uh, Miz. I've never hated this guy, I think he was always awesome. He may not be the greatest wrestler in the ring, but on the microphone he is untouchable. He is a such a great heel, such a great talker, and people just hate this guy. Not for being a bad wrestler, but for being... A great heel for doing his job right because you cannot deny that this guy is very talented. People hate him because he didn't came from the indies, you know, that's another reason. But who cares? I wasn't the biggest fan of The Miz back in 2010 or 11, but 2016 is what made The Miz one of my favorites ever. Another wrestler who has the privilege of being on the great ones list, can you believe that being on my list? The biggest accomplishment ever is none other than Chris Jericho. Yeah, you may say he's not in the WWE anymore, but I think he just took a break, he will return, so I guess in 2017 we will see Chris Jericho, so I'm putting him into this list. Back in the childhood, I was never the biggest Chris Jericho fan, I thought he's alright, but there was just something lacking. In 2010, I mean, he became heel, he was great, one of the greatest heels of all time. But even then, even though I love this guy, I've just always forgotten he's one of my favorites. I would not acknowledge that, which is weird. What are you f***ing pussy? When we got these promos of Chris Jericho returning in 2012, and we didn't knew it's Chris Jericho, that we assumed. It just made me realize how much I want Chris Jericho back into the WWE and how great he was. And when he returned, he became my favorite. Either way, he is great as a face, as a heel, great ring skills, everything about this guy is a total package. No complaints. I even kinda stole his hairstyle in a way, not really, but kinda. Not gonna fully admit to that, no credits. I invented that. I invented this hairstyle and you know this is the best thing on YouTube, you know that, everybody knows that. Dicks out for the Great One's hairstyle. Another great wrestler that I really love and the first wrestler that I ever saw watching WWE, you probably know that if you are a long subscriber of me, the great subscriber. This guy is definitely on this wall. Uh, yeah, it's Randy Orton. So I became watching wrestling in 2004 and the first match I saw was Randy Orton versus Batista. It was like a couple of weeks after Evolution split. I was intrigued, man. I was really intrigued. 
my uncle showed me said like this guy is the best and it was Randy or so I thought like okay this guy is the best I would like this guy <laughs> so I think over time I started to look at YouTube and all that kind of stuff like people would upload WWE and I started to find out everything about the evolution and all that kind of stuff man evolution is just the best memories of wrestling for me and Randy Orton was just untouchable back then on the microphone such a great heel even as a face I love this guy for some reason he got me into wrestling you can't say that right now he's kinda stale but I just I'm just gonna put him into this list because the memories are great this guy got me into wrestling sometimes he's just ah uh, his face he doesn't work that well that Bray Wyatt rivalry at first was good now then then kinda you know bleh. either way what I'm trying to say great heel Pretty good wrestler, two of the best theme songs ever, especially Burn In My Light, and uh, the greatest finisher of all time in my opinion, it's just so beautiful. And the number one in 2017, not only one of my favorites of all time, but especially in 2017 and what he's doing, he deserves all the credit in the world, is definitely AJ Styles. How can you not love AJ Styles? I got comments saying, who's better, Shinsuke Nakamura or AJ Styles? Are you on drugs? How is that even a question? AJ Styles is the best wrestler in 2017. I would put him in one of the greatest wrestlers. I would put him in top three wrestlers of all time. Like seriously, this guy is amazing. He is great in every aspect of wrestling. When he first came, he wasn't the best on the microphone, but he learned like that. You can have a bad wrestler against AJ Styles and he can make a great match out of it. He can have a great match with Bag of Potatoes, man. This guy is just that damn good. I love his wrestling style. I love his attire, his theme song, his looks, his hairstyle. Everything is just great about this guy. He's a total package in the ring outside of the ring just my cup of tea when it comes to wrestling and even though I know these other guys like Finn Balor like Shinsuke Nakamura are great it's just not what I look for in a wrestler sorry I know just just my opinion I don't hate you for saying that that you know Finn or Shinsuke is your favorite it's just not my style I get why you like them but yeah whatever so these are my favorite wrestlers right now do you want me to do of all time or not? Let me know in the comments below. Press that like button. If it gets like 1200, I will do that. Also check out on my other channel, I believe an animation where I do like cringe to fidget spinners, you know? I don't hate these, but I did a video about it, just you know, some cringy stuff that people do with them. So make sure to check that out and subscribe to that other channel. Patreon, the link is in the description. You can join Patreon, you will see a lot of stuff that you can get from here. The great one, peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.